as much as I want to review on the new job class Bard, Dancer and Sage after the Umbala version is updated in Taiwan server, I think this information is also as important as the new job class. Yep, there is a class balance adjustment in Taiwan server that came along with the Umbala page. Hey everyone, I'm King, welcome back to King Spade channel. Now I am not sure if the SAS server will also adopt these changes with Komodo version patch, but we do know that the SAS server will also have a class balance adjustment as per announced in their Facebook page recently. I had made a video about that. I'll link the video at the video description below if you want to know more about that. Now for Umbala version class balance adjustment, I am going to go through with you in this video. First off, the multi-job change penalty is decreased in this new version from 4 hours to 2 hours, meaning now you can change to any job class that you already unlock every 2 hours, alright? The job balance adjustment patch notes start with the assassin job class. The guillotine cross skill cross impact damage mechanism is adjusted and the skill cooldown is increased. Now it didn't say if the skill damage is increased or decreased, it just say adjusted. So players have to test that when the new version is patched. Next, the shadow equipment skill slash 1 and slash 2 life skill is increased. Now I remember in the class balance questionnaire video that I made for SAS server, they also mentioned about increasing the life steal. So these two versions have similarities and what does that mean? I think this class adjustment will also be implemented in SAS server. Let's continue. Next is for the monk, the body reload location skill. The movement speed is increased after hitting the target. The gentle touch energy gain skill recover more spirit sphere when HP is decreased. The steel body skill. Using steel body skill is now does not consume spirit sphere. The skill cooldown is also reduced. The critical explosion skill. Increase the skill effect duration. The rising dragon skill. Increase the skill effect duration and also increase the skill cooldown duration. The Asura strike skill. The skill based damage is increased and the strength attribute stat conversion is decreased. I am not sure if this will give better damage or not. Players just have to test it when it is implemented. The get of hell skill. The skill cooldown time is adjusted for every level. The cooldown time is decreased every skill level. And lastly, the ride in lightning skill. The skill rival cooldown time is decreased. Next is the hunter. What kind of adjustment will the hunter get? If you have watched the previous video that I made, we know that the hunter will have some adjustment, but it is not in detail. So here it is. The wolf bite skill. Increase the skill through damage effect. Now I'm not sure what is true damage here for the skill. The skill right now deal a regular damage, not a true damage. So maybe this skill will be like the falcon damage, dealing a true damage effect that bypass the target final defend. Next, the sniper sharp shoot skill. The skill is now no longer deals critical hit but has the same chance to double the damage. The skill damage factor is also increased. Now it seems that they want to be fair with the penetration build. It is true and the game developer also admit this in their open question session early this year. They said that they also want the skill to be able to deal critical damage as well, not just for regular normal attack. Well, I do not agree with this when I first know about it. Because you see, crit damage already deal double damage, right? Make it crit for the skill damage will multiply the damage even higher. That is just not fair to the penetration build, but I guess they see it now, alright? That's it for Hunter. Next, Knight. The Rune Knight Dark Flame Sword skill. The skill duration is increased, alright? This is it. This has to be it. On the previous video, it also mentioned about increasing this skill duration and here it is. So I guess we are also going to have all of this class adjustment for the new version later on. I'm pretty sure about it. Next, the Lord Knight Head Crush skill. This skill duration is also increased. Next is the Priest. The High Priest Suffragium skill. The skill effect is
is reduced and the skill duration is increased. Next, the resurrection skill. The skill SP consumption is increased. Next, the wizard. The warlock flame attack skill. Increase the number of charges, the sprint range, and the duration of the flame path. The flame path provides an additional deceleration effect, exactly the same as stated in the class adjustment questionnaire. The warlock soul burst skill. The skill damage factor is increased and the skill cooldown is also increased. Next, the high wizard abyssal swarm skill. The armor conversion time is shortened. The probability of converting the target armor attribute is increased. The high wizard napalm vulcan skill. The skill no longer causes a critical hit but has the same chance to double the damage. Next, the shadow equipment skill. Firebolt 1 and 2, Coal Bolt 1 and 2, Lightning Bolt 1 and 2, and Heaven's Drive 1 and 2 skill damage factor is increased. Alright, that is all for the class balance adjustment in Umbala version. After looking all of that, I am quite certain that the SS server will adopt these changes as well. What do you think? Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.